to Enable.org presents Mathematical Literacy Data Handling Organizing Data Right, again we're going to work with um, the handouts that is available on to Enable's website. So let's quickly go there. Right, this is the handout for week 33 um, and it is about uh, organizing data. We use data tables to organize the data that we received, f that uh, we gather from observation, questionnaires, surveys or interviews. There are two kinds of data tables, stem and leaf tables and frequency tables. Now in mathematically mathematical literacy, we only look at frequency tables. Right, not stem and leaf tables, but um, that you did uh, last year in mathematics. Now, frequency tables. You normally use frequency tables when um, your data consists of words, a lot of the same numbers, so we have repetition of numbers or a range of numbers. So you just, you don't really mind the extremities, you just want to group them together to sort of order your thinking, maybe. In a frequency table, there are three columns. The data column, the tally column, and the frequency column. Right. In the tally column, one line represents each item. Each fifth line is drawn through the first four lines. So let's quickly... Uh, so you have four lines and then if you have a fifth tally, you draw a line through it. That's, that's what that sentence means. In the frequency column, you add the lines in the tally column and a frequency table has a total at the bottom. Right, so now this is the example. Use the data below to set up a frequency table. So it's a type of drink preferred by greater 11 goals. So let's say this is water, uh, grape juice and oh here it is. Water is W, G is a uh, fizzy drink gas cool drink uh, this example says vitamin water uh, fruit juice and other right so now what you do is you say well there's one water and you draw a line second water draw a line third water draw a line fourth water draw a line and with the fifth water you you, you uh, draw a line through all four there so this group means a group of five so then you go on one, two, three, four, five. Again, you have another group. And one, two, three, four, five. We have another group. One, two, uh, three, four, five. Another group. One, two, three, four, five, another group and one extra. Okay, so now there's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-six waters. Right, then again you do the same for vitamin water. There's one, two, three, four, five. That's one group of five. One, two, three, four, five. A second group of five. One, two, three. Aha, uh -huh, sorry, I lost count. Um, which direction was I going? One, two, three, four. Uh, I lost count again. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five. First group of five for vitamin water. One, two, three, four, five. Second group, one, two, three, four, five. Third group of five, and then one, two. There we have five, ten, fifteen, seventeen. And then you do the same for fruit juice, for a, f a fizzy drink, gas, cool drink, and other. Right, and then you add all the frequencies, and you'll see that um, this is this total is also to check 
whether we have 84. So do we have 84 bits of data in the column? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 12 times 7 is 84. Yay! All right, so we d we did all the data. So this uh, um, this is if we if we just have um, uh, words that uh, uh, th that data consisting out of words, and it's a whole lot of repetition. So there's only five different things, but they keep on occurring, and this is basically to summarize the data, or to organize the data. Now the next one is um, use the data below to complete the set to a complete um, the or set up a frequency table to uh, let's delete that complete to set up a frequency table use class interval now a class interval group data into different groups mm, group 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 the size of the group refers to the number of possible values that could occur in that interval right so now this is the amount of money in rand in a grade 11's wallet so it's 0 to 9 rand 10 to 19, 20 to 29, 30 to 39, 40 to 49, and 50 to 59 rand. Okay, so we won't go bigger than that because we realize that nobody has more than 59 rand in their wallets. Um, we Well, we can't go less than 0 rand. We're not interested in cents. So what we do is we say when we find a number between 0 and 9, we're going to tally it. So there's 0, we draw a line. 6 is between 0 to 9, we draw a line. We go on, 5 is between 0 to 9, we tally that. 9, it's including 9, we tally that. And 5, we draw a line for our tally group. So now we have 5 values between 0 to 9 rand. 0 and 8 is 2 more. So there's 7 girls that fall into the the range 0 to 9 rand between 10 and 19 rand okay so when we find a value between 10 and 19 like 12 we tally it 17 is between 0 to 19 we tally it 17 is again between 0 to 19 we tally it 19 is between well is including 19 and we draw a line through our tally because we have 5 now last line um, 14 is between 0 to 19 and 10 it's including 10 so again there's 7 people that has between 10 and 19 rand in their wallets 20 we're looking for values but including 20 <coughs> up until 29 so 22 falls into that group and 20 falls into that group and 25 falls into the, to that group right so then we add up it there's a total of 30 values in this um, uh, in, in this uh, uh, this group there's 30 points of data in this group and we have just grouped it into intervals right so what I want you to do this afternoon is to do the exercise F frequency tables and then tomorrow we'll go through the answers of that uh, and thank you very much